Why does the M1 Abrams need four crew members when other tanks only need three? Because every person inside the Abrams is a critical piece of a battlefield machine. You see, the loader is the tank's human engine. He rams 120 millimeter rounds into the cannon in just three to six seconds, picks the right ammo instantly, and keeps the firing rate high even under insane pressure. No auto loader can match that speed, safety, or reliability. Then there's the the gunner, the tank's sniper. He controls the cannon and machine guns, uses thermal vision to spot enemies miles away, and can lock a target even while the Abrams is bouncing across terrain. Every shot is coordinated with the commander. Speaking of which, the commander is the brain of the tank. He watches the battlefield in a full 360 degrees, makes final fire decisions, and coordinates with nearby tanks and infantry. His job is pure survival, keeping the whole crew alive. And Deep in the hull sits the driver, the muscle. He moves this 60-ton beast across mud, obstacles, and rough terrain, keeps the tank stable while firing, and controls acceleration when every second means life or death. Here's the truth. Four humans beat any autoloader. Faster firing, faster reactions, better awareness. And in the Abrams, each role protects the other three. That's why the M1 Abrams doesn't run on machines. It runs on teamwork.